Here's a video that I'm kind of a little bit chapped about having to make, and I wish I had the red regular cap here to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll be able to throw up some pictures. But let's just say this. I dropped my truck off at a particular shop that I've taken my truck to before many times. This is not the small mom and pop shop that I've grown up to use and love, you know, take my stuff to as a kid. There's one that's a lot closer to us and so I've just been kind of taking stuff there because I'm like, okay, it's three minutes from here. I'm gonna drop it off. I'm not gonna say anything in terms of who it is right now. I dropped my red truck off because I was going out of town. I said, I gotta go out of town, but I need the truck done so I can get a bunch of other work done on it. Can you do like uh, oil filter, fuel filter, oil change, alignment, all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, no problem. I said, go ahead and check the front end too in case he needs any parts. Because I had a friend, you know, you know, Devin, who was working on it. He said, just have him check through the front end just in case he needs parts too, because you'd hate to you know, get it aligned and anything else and you have bad parts in the front end and then it still chops up your tires or whatever. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll have them check it. And they said, oh, your front end's good. We got the full service done. We're getting ready to take it over to the alignment shop here. We'll call you back in about two hours and it should be done. So you're like, is it okay if we drive your truck, you know, down the road to the shop? It's only about two miles. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Obviously, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Just be careful. You know, like I just got the truck back from painting body work. And I get a call about 30 minutes later and the guy's like, ah, yeah, so real quick, this is one of those phone calls I don't like to have to make. And I'm like, okay, like what's going on? Ah, uh, there's a little problem with your truck. Yeah, he needs a line. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like what are you getting at? You know what I mean? Um, I thought maybe he was gonna say like, maybe it does actually need some front end parts. No, that's not what he said. He's like, yeah, so we were going down the road, made it about a half mile, hood came open, flew up, didn't hit the windshield, it came close, it chewed up a little bit of, you know, metal around your hood where it hit the wiper blades and, you know, kind of like came up and like, I don't know what it did. It did something stupid. I don't even know if it hit the wiper blades, it hit like the corner of the fender or something and kind of bent the hood a little bit and like, it's like, it's real small, right? Like I'm talking like little one inch gashes on the hood, like in the corners. And I already took it to Miguel, which is a big body guy that just finished that truck, which by the way, looked amazing when I got it back. And I bring it back to him and he's like, ah, that's not a big deal. He's like, it didn't structurally damage the hood. It's not anything that I really have to like, like try to bend back into place really. Like it's just a little gash and you know, it just needs sanded, worked and smoothened out. Make it just perfect like by flattening out that edge that kind of bent up a little bit. It'll just bend it right down into place and just sand paint. So I'm just gonna, you know, redo in terms of clear and stuff, like redo the whole hood after I touch up that, those two spots on the hood. He's like, you should be good that the hood's not bent or cockeyed or anything like that. And the shop, you know, had already replaced the hinges on that truck because they said that the hinges were all bent back and all crooked and like almost snapped. And I'm like, that's, I literally just replaced the hood and hinges on that truck. And it was the third hood that I bought, you know, to try to get for that truck. They replaced the hinges and they're like, at first they didn't really say anything. They're like, yeah, so um, it's really up to you what you want to do with the truck. I mean, do you want us to still align it? I'm like, no. Okay, um, well, what, you wouldn't, do you want to just come pick it up? Or, you know, like we'll give you a discount on the service. I'm like, how about this? I'll pick up the truck in about two hours because I got a bunch of other crap I have to deal with, a bunch of other stuff. You're gonna give me a letter stating your shop is going to be paying to repair that. Because like, at first he was trying to kind of get around the topic of just like, oh, it's not that bad. Like we replaced the hinges, which are not anywhere close to the same color of the truck, mind you. They're just little gashes on the hood, like in some little paint chip. Like it's not a big deal. I'm like, you're gonna pay to fix it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't mind paying for the work you guys already did. I'm not gonna be that irrational and like be that person that's like, oh, I'm not paying you for the work you did on the truck. No, they did full service the truck. They just didn't get to the alignment. So I said, listen, I will pay for the oil change, the fuel filter, the oil filter, everything that you guys did, the stuff that you did do, that's fine. But what I'm not gonna do is pay the $500 to repair that hood because I said, my guy does stuff the right way and so chances are, it's not gonna be a little touch-up paint or nail polish. He's gonna have to take the hood off, take those hinges off, repaint them. They didn't even align the hood, like it was not good. He's gonna have to redo some of the hood because I'm talking like little, little tiny gashes, like one inch wide gashes on each corner where the hood like bounced up 
and it looks like they stopped it in time and they weren't going very fast so it didn't like fly up and bend the whole hood up. It just like made these little tiny gashes in the corner of the hood and it was all chipped. I was like, okay, it might not seem like that big of a deal, but my pain guy's like, I mean, by the time I straighten out those little tiny gashes and make them perfect and then sand and paint and clear, he said there's still a chance that somebody that knows what they're looking at would be able to see that it's a little bit different than the rest of the hood. He's like, so I'm just gonna have to redo a lot of the hood, the entire hood actually, to make sure it's perfect. To the eye, you're not gonna be able to tell that he had to redo the hood, you know. So he's gonna address it, he's gonna take care of it. He said it's probably gonna run me five, six hundred bucks. So I said, okay, well you let me know, you send me a paper receipt tomorrow, a text message, like a picture of the bill. And I said, I'll send it to the guy that I talked to at the shop. And they said that they are going to address it. I said, I'm not paying for any service that you did on my truck until you know you tell me and I get this truck fixed and you pay the bill for it. He's like, okay. So they didn't charge me for the service. They said, okay, take your truck, get it fixed, give us the bill, and then we'll go from there. Like if it balances out to be about as much as the service, which it wasn't, the bill is gonna be more than the service. If it's about as much as the service we did, we'll just cancel it out and call it even. If it's a little bit more, we'll reimburse you. Or, you know, if it ends up being like a cheap fix, you know, we'll just deduct a little off your service and just charge you the difference. I'm like, okay, well, we'll find out how much it costs. He's gonna do it, he's gonna send me a bill. You're gonna cut him a check and then we'll go from there. So, anyways, super excited because now the truck's at the paint shop again. He said that he should only have the truck two days, I think he said. He does really good work and he's really quick. He's very, very efficient. So that's where we're at with the red truck. You're probably wondering like, dude, it's been like three days. Where's the red truck? Because I had a bunch of videos I was gonna film with. I had a whole bunch of stuff I just ordered for that truck to do all kinds of stuff to it. Super excited to do it. And then Frosty, I got a call today that Frosty is done. Thank goodness. So we're gonna be able to pick up Frosty here in the next day or two and I can get time to go grab that truck. And then that's all gonna be good. Everything's gonna be sunshine and rainbows again, right? You know, so anyways guys, sorry for the rant. This is kind of like one of those annoying videos to some people. Kind of annoying for me to have to make, but I'm just wanting you guys to know why it's gonna be like literally six days since you've seen me left last on the channel and I thought I should probably let you guys know what's going on. Um, but anyway, so yeah, no, the, truck's, the truck runs fine, drives fine, everything's perfect. I did drive it again and I'm like, okay, nothing else is wrong with the truck. We're good. Like everything's perfect. The stupid gashes in the hood when I just got the back. I just thought that was kind of funny. I'm like, yeah, but I just got the paint body work done so don't let anything happen. Of course, that's what happened. I pro probably should have just said, yeah, just do whatever you want. It would have been fine, but you know. Whatever. That's just how it has to go, right? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video with what there was to enjoy. I don't know, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Do not forget if you want to edit or win the second gen Longhorn build, every $5 is five entries to win. The five for five deal is here and you guys can take up on that opportunity to get your entries in to win that truck plus five thousand dollars of cold hard cash to go with it you guys have an amazing day i'll catch you in the next video with not damaged trucks Thanks. Well, everybody, here it is. The 1996 five-speed 12 valve we call the second gen Longhorn. If you wanna have this truck in your driveway plus $5,000 cash sitting in the console when you pick it up, every $5 is five entries to win. Go to lmpgear.com today, click the link above or below, get entered, because this giveaway ends very soon. Don't waste any time.